In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can turn any pot into a gorgeous, simple water feature. Let's go. But for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Lauren and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on that bell so that you're notified when I'm uploading new videos. And as always, such a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and supporters. It means the absolute world, so thank you so, so much. If you've seen some of my recent videos, you'll know that I am the cyano queen at the moment. I have it in my fresh water, I have it in my salt water, I have it everywhere. I've never in my life had this much cyano ever. So with my fresh water tank, it was suggested to me that the baby guppies that were just constantly being born in that tank could have been adding to the issue of the cyano in that tank. So I decided, to uh, build something else that I can put the baby guppies in and really reduce the stocking amount that I have in that tank. And this is something I've wanted to do for a while now um, is to convert a pot into a beautiful little water feature. See, I love it down here. There's some baby fish down here. They look really similar to guppies though. I'll see if I can grab one for you. See, look at that. You see that? You can put him back. I hope it's not guppies. It definitely won't be guppies because that's not natural down here, but the babies certainly look like guppies. Ooh, what was that? Oh my God! Look at that. Look at that. Here's another one. Oh, I've got the heebie-jeebies now. They like hiss at you. But anyway, I've picked out my pot. Let's get back home and get started. All right, so here's the pot that I chose. As you can see, it's just your standard ceramic pot with a hole in the bottom. So to fix the hole in the bottom, I went and bought myself uh, some PC Marine epoxy putty. Uh, and so that's just going to um, block up the hole at the bottom. And I chose the Marine grade one so that uh, it's designed to hold water in. So you just break off however much you need. Uh, this is probably far too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. And then you basically just mush it in together until it's all the one color. Then I'm just going to press that into the hole there and make sure it's really sealed around it and on the bottom as well. Last thing we need to make this waterproof is some waterproofing paint. Um, I use the pond sealer because it'll be safe for fish uh, and it's designed to hold water. So I'm just going to go ahead and evenly paint uh, my first coat all over the pot. So this particular paint says to do two coats. So let the first one dry, uh, which would take a few hours, and then do a second one and then wait seven days for the whole thing to be dry and ready to be added with water. So this is going to be a super low tech pot. I'm literally just going to have a bit of sponge at the bottom um, for the filtration and for the beneficial bacteria to grow on and my lily. Uh, fun fact about the lily is I thought it was potluck about what colour lily you got. And in my other pond, I'm like, I just keep getting white and I didn't realise. On the tag, it actually says what colour lily you're going to get. So finally got my pink so this is just going to be a really simple just with the lily I just thought it would be a really nice sort of water feature as you're coming into the house you look down and see from the top down the beautiful colors of the guppies and I guess it's going to be a little grow out area for all the baby guppies that I've got inside um, to just grow out in here I know they'll end up breeding like crazy in here anyway but um, you know I can give them away at that point so to instantly cycle the tank I've got a bit of sponge from one of my tanks inside so I'm just going to pop that down on the bottom a piece of brick I'm going to put that down next and that's purely just for the um, lilies to sit on so they're not sitting super far down in the water and then we're gonna go and put the lilies in now we're just gonna fill it with some water and add in the guppies it's as simple as that So yeah, now I want to set up about another uh, seven of those pots <laughs> and just have all different ones around the backyard. I love that it's just so simple. Um, you know, I can easily whack in a heater at winter if I need to, but it doesn't get overly cold down here. So I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget if you're new to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.